exposed to it. What's up, YouTube? It's the 13th of April, 2019. That was at the uh, Honda Easy 2500 generator. I've been running it outside for a half hour or so. Still surging a little bit. No adjustments that I could find on that carburetors, but... You know, uh, I did break the <laughs> choke off of that brand new carburetor. So I've just ordered a new one. Be here uh, at the end of the week and we'll swap it out. It's a whole $8.60. You know, they you can buy the just the choke thing that I broke and it's more expensive than the whole carburetor. That's amazing. I don't know how they do it. Anyway, uh, we'll swap that out. and Maybe the other carburetor is different, better. Maybe it's the same. I don't know. No adjustment on the high speed. Not sure how we're going to correct the surging. Anyway, it's not what we're here to look at. This is... I did a video on this already. This was a free snapper rear... In, uh, rear uh, walk behind rear wheel drive. One more. It is a commercial mower. It is a three and a half horse... Riggs and Stratton engine. Uh, when I got it, it had some drive issues, which we fixed. It also had uh, some governor issues, which those things are, you know, when the linkage is just all kind of mismatched, when you get them, it's, it's hard to sort it out. And this was no exception, it was hard to sort out. Um, but I took it out to mow with it. Start right up. This is an electric start. Only electric start. Um, and then all of a sudden this thing started making a bunch of weird noise and it quit running. And I think it's in here. Um, it wasn't like it threw a rod or anything like that. It was more of a clatter than anything. So we're taking it apart. Gotta get this cowl off of here. Um, and see what the heck is going on in there. Yeah, some of this stuff really doesn't look like it's been taken apart. But some of this stuff on here, the genius mechanic that owned it has just botched it all up. Um, so when I, when I first heard the noise, I thought, well, this Einstein that owned this thing before maybe got in there and maybe... Didn't bolt the coil back in all the way, or maybe tie wired it in, or I don't know. Something weird is going on, and so we're going to have to go in and find out what. It'll be interesting to find out just exactly what. Sorry, I'm leaking oil over here. <laughs> I'm going to put a little rag on it. I make enough mess around here. So, got this one bolt to get out of here. And we'll pull this cow off of here and see what's up. I kind of do wish this also had a pull start. If I go out and look in my stack of engine stuff, I might actually have a cow or spin thing off of another Briggs that would give it a pull start. But we'll see. All right. Should just come off of here. Let's see. There we go. Survey says, survey says, man, let me flip this thing around, I'm really not seeing it. What can you see? Let's go to the movie over here. It was sure made a, a clatter, a racket, and then just quit running for whatever reason. Yeah, remember the goofed up governor? Uh, this kind of gives me a little more visibility to that. Oh, I did. Yeah. Sort of 
works. Oh man, now I'm losing oil down here. Wow, that can really make a mess. And it is leaking everywhere. I took that dipstick out and it is just erupted over here. Nicely done. Let's see. Well, I'm not finding what I thought I might find in here. There really doesn't appear to be anything loose. But the one thing I did notice when I took the cover off the starter, it was engaged. I think possibly what happened is the starter stayed engaged. So maybe we need to lubricate that or something. Let's just try that. Um, where's my oil can? Can of oil. I buy oil cans every time I see them at a yard, so I probably have 10. I never seem to find one when I need it, though. get my battery if this was a really great mower I'd just buy a new little battery that's up here on the handlebars but I don't think it's ever going to be a really great little mower let me pull the spark plug wire off so it does not run just spin that starter. Oh yeah, just gonna put oil everywhere. Like I haven't made enough mess around here. Starter spinning out. Hmm. Listen to that clunk. What is that? Ooh. Where are the blades loose? Did I have that off? Probably. See how much fluids we can put out on the there. Is that it or is it the rod? Nah, I'd say the blade's a little loose. Let me see, what's that feel like? About a 9 16th. 3 8 drive. Let me get my little impacto wrench here. Let me tighten the blade, maybe. all there was to it. Hmm. The front wheel was 
Five ninety five. dollars Still got the price on it. Now, does that make it better? <laughs> Something shocked the snot out of me up here. Oh, I got the spark plug wire on the, uh, yeah, on the, uh, car, on the throttle cable. <laughs> well, look at that. It was my fault. I did it. Didn't get the blade tight enough. Uh, does it start up? Let's see. There's no primer. So that would be idle. That would be fast. There's Choke, there is a choke, there's no choke, not sure. We'll try it here. I still heard that noise. I'm turning it off because I'm concerned about the noise I'm hearing and the fact that I got a rag there. I wonder if the blade is bent or something. That might be because it's running a little weird and you can hear that noise. Let me check it out. I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't actually cause this issue. I never had the blade out of this thing. This blade's actually in horrible shape. It's got big chunks out of it and stuff. I thought I'd pulled this one and sharpened it, but it was my other mower. But you can see it's bent. So right now it's actually cutting below the deck. You can see the blade. If I spin it to where the other side of the blade comes around like that, and you can't even see that. So we're talking, oh, three quarters of an inch bent. So the blade is garbage. So uh, I don't know a ton about blades for different mowers if I could just go get one. I think what I need to do is go online and try to get a snapper blade for this because um, it's clearly bent. So that's why it's um, making vibrations and horrible noises and things like that. I assume the crankshaft isn't bent, but the blade is bent. And it's so beat up I, I wouldn't even try to fix it. So it's like it's hit something pretty hard. So anyway, that's a, I guess, a diagnosis of the old 21-inch snapper rear bagger self-propelled electric start aluminum deck commercial mower. Let me go online and see what I can find for a blade. Go ahead and pull the blade out so I can get a better look at it so I know what I'm ordering. It's definitely the original blade for this thing. And over time, looks like somebody's lost the big washer. And they, what they did was stuck in two, count them, two fender washers. And they are bent, bent, bent. So there's no way to really get it good and tight. So um, I'll come up with a nice, thick, heavy washer. Um, it's got a 7 8 inch center. And... Uh, you know, this little guy has just seen better days. Um, it's just time. So, let's uh, cruise over to the computer. Pardon my mess. It's always a mess around here. So, I got the... Uh, I think you can see that on the screen. Yeah, screws down here. So, the, the uh, blade is number 40. Cruise up there to number 40. So the part number is 1 8193. And we'll get rid of that. And go for that. So there's part number 1 8193. And it has the big hole in it. It's got the right bend to it. And it's uh, $17. So uh, cool. I'll get her coming.
So, guys, once again, we've diagnosed another issue with another snapper. And uh, I think that's going to be great. So, yeah, the blade could never be tight um, because of stupid washers and it's bent to oblivion. And let's just get a new one. And I'll, uh, I'll be at the farm store for too long or look through my stash and get a much better washer so the thing holds tight, nice and heavy. I've got to comment, though. I've got to comment. I got this thing for free, right? Um, a few weeks ago. Maybe it's been a month now. Um, we're just sitting at lunch, and this thing shows up on uh, Facebook Marketplace. I said, hey, I'll take it. And it was just blocks away. We finished lunch, grabbed the trailer, went over, picked it up. Um, everything was good. Brought it home. It started. It ran. I actually cut grass with it. And then, you know, we talked about the rear drive issues. And we got all that fixed up. Made a video on how to mow with it. And it, again, made this really weird noise and just quit running. Of course, I thought there was issues under the cowl. It turns out, nope. It was actually just blade issues. Um, so we got that figured out. We got a new one coming. This thing will be good to go. But I had a comment, and I just have to say something. I should just keep my mouth shut, but it's hard to do. Um, comment was, when you get something like this, you should take it apart, or that was what they were leading me to believe, you should take it apart and go through the whole thing. And I'm like, mm, really? It's a free mower. If I take it apart and go through the whole thing and you know fix everything that ails it, you end up with, you could end up basically restoring it, and you'd end up with, you know, what, 50, 60, 70 hours of your time, which, to me, that's very valuable, because, uh, you know, like, I'm working six days this week on a job, so um, I only have one day off, so putting that kind of time in would take forever, and I have a ton of projects. You've seen my videos. I never sleep. I go from one project to another to another, and sometimes I don't get them done. Um, I have to put them away because something else has priority. But what would you guys do? Would you really take something for free and do something more than just get it running and working? I get it's fun to restore stuff, but to take a free mower that poo, has very little value and do anything more than just get it working? Hmm. That's interesting. I'm just curious if I'm the only one that just cares if they work or not. I don't care if everything in it is perfect or painted or whatever. If it's the wheels still go round and round, probably going to run it. If the engine runs, doesn't smoke bad, doesn't hammer or make noises, probably not going to go through it. Um, we fixed everything that didn't work. And now we're going to put a new blade on it. So I'm going to spend $17 on a blade. I didn't put any more money into this thing that I can remember. The wheels are not going to last forever. One of these rear wheels was cracking. But I'll be careful with it. The tires are pretty wore out. But I'll be careful with it. It's just a second or third or fourth or fifth mower anyway. Does it need to be perfect? Um, anyway, just thought I'd bring that up because it just gnawed on me a little bit um but i still appreciate the comments i still appreciated that comment because it made me think on it a little bit so um but anyway just curious about your opinion put your comments below thanks guys for watching comment and subscribing please hit the thumbs up button it's like throwing a pity in my piggy bank and we'll keep the videos coming we'll see you on the next one